Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use Flexer Video Editor for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to access Flexer.com, which is going to be Flexer.com. So go ahead, open up any browser and go to their website. Now from here, what we need to do first is we need to create our account. Now to create an account, you could go ahead and click on the get started button at the top right of your screen or the sign up for free button here. But in this case, go ahead and click on one of those buttons. Now from here, you have two options. So you have the option to manually create your account wherein you need to input your full name, email address, and password here and just click on register. But you also have the option here to connect your already existing account for Google or for Facebook. Now in this case, choose whatever it is right for you now in this case let's go ahead and log in now once you're logged in into flexer.com you should be able to see your home page or the immediate editor page here but first things first is we first have to familiarize, familiarize ourselves with the ui for flexer so here this is the home page of flexer wherein you'll be able to see your current projects now here at the top section you have your media library which in this case contains any of the medias that you'll be using like for example your photos your view videos and even your musics now also you have the review uh, review links here wherein you'll be able to basically uh, share review links for your projects. Like, like uh, for example, you want to give a preview of that specific project. Now, you also have the section here for exports from the name itself. This is where your exports will be. You also have the template section here. Like, for example, you want to create a, a very fast video. You don't want to think about it. You just want to rapidly create that one and give it to your client. Well, you could use one of their templates here. Now, they also have the brand kit here, but this one is kind of advanced. But for now, let's just focus on creating a new project. So in this case, let's go ahead and create a new project first. So go ahead and click on create project here. Enter the name of your project. So you also have the option to change the format of their video. Like currently, by default, the widescreen is going to be selected, which is a good for YouTube. But they also have the 4x5 here for socials like IG and Facebook. We also have the square here, which is good for Instagram, and portrait here, which is good for IGTV and mobile videos like TikTok. Now, in this case, let's just choose the default here, which is going to be widescreen, and we want to enter our name here for that video. So let's go and click on create. And after that, you should be able to see the main UI for Flixer. So in this case, Flixer is a way or a tool that you could use to basically access professional tools that are typically paid. Like for example, Adobe Premiere and other services there, they, their services are typically uh, paid. So if you want to f uh, use or try professional tools, well, Flexer is the thing for you. Now, in this case, we first have to again familiarize ourselves with the UI and what are the things that are happening right now on our screen. Now, by default, the very center here is going to be our video or the output video. So currently, like for example, you added your videos here, you're adding your videos. This is where it's going to appear. Now, at the left side here, just next to it, we have our different tabs here. We have all, vid all videos, audio, and images. So depending on what you select here on the leftmost side here, the section here would actually change. Like for example, since we selected library here, it's going to show us different uh, sections on that library. Like for example, video, audio, images from the name itself. Now, if you choose stock here, you'll be able to basically view different videos or stock images or videos. Now, in this case, uh, stock videos are good because you'll be able to, for example, you don't have a specific footages or you don't have specific images for that specific section. Well, you could use stock videos to basically make a filler for that section. Now, you also have the section for audio. So in this case, you'll be able to access different sound effects on their platform. Now, depending on what is available here, you could go ahead and use that. But let's move on to motion. Now, for motion is uh, more on the movement of your assets. Like for example, if you want to add this specific uh, press title here, you could go ahead and add this one. Like for example, once it's added in here, you could go ahead and just edit it out. But later on, I'll be showing you how to edit that. But for now, let's just delete this one. Now here, we also have the text. 
So text is from the name itself, you'll be able to add text. Now they have different types of text here. Like for example, we have digital calligraphy and a lot more. So if you want to use a specific one here, like for example, you want to be spooky, you can go and use spooky here as you can see. And if you want to edit the text itself, you could go and double click on it and you'll be able to change the text itself. Now from here, you could also change the colors, like for example, text color here, if you want to make it red, You'll just hit on red here and from here let's just click on x here and as you can see we were able to change it so by the way make sure that you highlight it first we will say able to change the size of the text itself if you want to like for example we want to make this around a hundred so let's just type in a hundred here and we also have the font family as well as the font weight now font weight is going to be the how why the font is so yeah you could go ahead and change those things now we also have this section here for subtitles so we all know that sometimes in our videos we have to add subtitles which is something that is really helpful and it's going to cater to different people especially if the audio itself is hard to hear so you could use the auto subtitle here wherein the platform itself or flexor itself is going to add your subtitles automatically on your uh, sections here now we also have sh shapes here wherein you'll be able to add different shapes if you want to add them like for example let's add this arrow here go ahead and add that and once you added that you can go and change the color itself so again depending on what you select here the right section here would actually differ because this right section here is going to be your settings or your properties window uh, and yeah so if you want to resize some certain aspects or certain elements on your uh, workspace here you could go and just press and hold on the corners or in the uh, left or right sections here and if you want to rotate it just click on the uh, a line here that is like an antenna you can go ahead and just pin it around if you want to now here we have transitions like from the name itself you'll be able to add transitions to your uh, specific elements now in this case like for example we have these two elements here so i'm going to show you how this track works so i, I was actually moving this around while i was explaining things to you now in this case how do we actually uh use this one so think of these tracks as layers. So depending on what you put at the very top here, it's going to be the first one that you'll be seeing. But if you put another element, like for example, we have spooky behind this specific arrow here. So if you, you put the spooky uh, track at the very top, as you can see, it's going to be at the very top. So think of it as layers that has timelines. Now in this case, you could go ahead and just reposition your elements here as you would. So just to give the example, I'm going to add a stock video here. So let's just add this one, as you can see. So again, you could go ahead and resize your video if you want to. But for now, let's go ahead and click on Control Z to revert our uh, changes. And we also have the other options here, which is you'll be able to flip your video if you want to, maximize it if you want to as well, and a lot more. Again, depending on what you select here or what element you select here on your workspace, you'll be able to change different aspects of your uh, video or your canvas here. Now, the right side, since we selected video here, we have transitions and add transitions out. Uh, transitions in is going to be the transitions at the very uh, up front or the very first here. So as you can see, by default, it's going to be fade in. If you add uh, a transition at the very end, it's going to be a fade out by default. Now, if you want to change that, just click on the drop down arrow here and you could choose on what you want to use here. So they have a lot, so like for some blur and fade out, angular, and a lot more. But yeah, so moving on. Another thing that you could do here is you could go ahead and hide some certain aspects or element or layers in your timeline. So if you click on the hide icon here or the eye icon next to the timeline itself, you'll be able to hide that specific element. Like for example, I'm going to hide this arrow here. Just click on it and as you can see, we were able to hide it. Now if you want to lock a specific element in your screen, just click on the lock icon here. As you can see, we were able to lock that and we won't be able to select that specific element and we won't be able to move it or touch it around. Which is something great if you want to make something static and you want to you don't want to uh, move it around as much. But yeah. 
Now, if you want to uh, basically export your video or your uh, project here, just click on the export button at the top right of your screen. And from here, you'll have different options. Like for example, you could go and change the name, the format, the time uh, thumbnail here, and the option to publish this to YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Google Drive, and a lot more. Now, from here, you could go ahead and click on the export video at the bottom right here. And from here, just click on it. It's going to start exporting that. And as you can see, your video will be ready in three minutes. So in this case, let's go back into dashboard. Now, in this case, what you need to do is you just need to wait for it to complete exporting. And you should be good. So we all know that currently Flixer is actually for free, but there are limitations to it. Now currently, if you want to use it for free, there is a limitation of 10 minutes uh, exported video and 720p video at super speed. Now they also have the 2GB cloud of storage here, so those are the limitations. Now if you want to use Pro here, wherein you'll be able to get 300 minutes of, of, of videos a month, export time 300 minutes and export 60 minutes of subtitles or transcriptions a month and a lot more so if you want to use the business here which is something better because it's going to give you export of uh, export time of 600 minutes so if you want to export more videos you might want to use their plans here but that's about it if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video